Well, hello there, friends. I'm Marcy, and welcome to Solid Gold Scripture Journals. This is where I share ways to study our scriptures so we can find peace in Christ and gain scripture confidence. I had some technical difficulties today. It's the first time it's ever happened. Everything got erased. So it's going to be a little bit of a different video today. And I just want to say I'm getting back into the swing of things as Canada slowly comes out of lockdown and I'm getting busy. This week was very busy for me. It was very surprising how it's so easy to go back into our old habits and not find the time to study our scriptures every day. I just want to put it out there. You can study your scriptures for a few minutes every day and gain the spirit and the answers and the comfort and the confidence that you need. I'm just going to show you how I study my scriptures. You might study your scriptures in a different way. Maybe you'll get some ideas from me. Feel free to leave something in the comments if you have a different way or something better that I am maybe missing out on. So when you go to study your scriptures, first thing you need to do is pray. Pray for what you're looking for, the answers, the comfort, the testimony that you need. Next thing you're going to do is gather your supplies. And number one, you're going to want your Come Follow Me manual. Number two, a journal. Number three, the Doctrine and Covenants or whatever scriptures you'd like to study that day. And number four, a pen, maybe a marker. This is optional here. I like to open up my Come Follow Me manual to the week that I'm currently in. I don't think it does anyone any good to go back and study things from months and months ago. Just stick with where you are at. June 28 to July 4th, Doctrine and Covenants 71 to 75, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. I always begin by reading this bright orange quote because it's always so motivating. Elder Quentin L. Cook taught the influence of the Holy Ghost most often accompanies individual scripture study and prayer in the home. It's us. This is what we're doing. This is how we're going to get the influence of the Holy Ghost. Next, I like to read this portion and find out the background to what we are studying this week. And I found that Joseph Smith and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was having a lot of criticism against it. And in fact, Ezra Booth began publicly berating the church in a newspaper. A lot of criticism was happening. And the Lord's answer to that was section 77 of the Doctrine and Covenants. The next thing I do is just go through these ideas for personal scripture study. This week, there are four sections. So I would take four days to study them. And you know what? I might find what I learned today. I want to come back and study more tomorrow. And that's great. And if you don't finish, it's fine. Next week, just keep moving on. So I take my journal and I open up a new page for today. I start, come follow me. I write the date. I write what we're studying and I put the heading. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Ideas for personal scripture study, Doctrine and Covenants 71, is what I did today. So I read this little section here. I underline the questions and put a little box so that when I'm done answering the questions, I can simply cross them off. We may be concerned when we hear people criticize or ridicule the church and its leaders especially when we're afraid people we know and love will be influenced by that criticism. When something similar happened in Ohio in 1831, the Lord's message to Joseph Smith was one of faith, not fear. Here's the questions. What do you find that builds your faith in the Lord and his work in section 71? Little box. What impresses you about the instruction the Lord gave his servants in this situation? little box. So what I chose to do was make two columns. 
what builds my faith in the Lord, and what impresses me about these instructions. And then I went through and read section 71. I think I might have said 77 earlier, but it's section 71. And I just underlined things that I found interesting. And then I was able to write about them here. So I found, for example, in verse 1, open your mouth in proclaiming the gospel. No matter what criticism is happening, you want to open your mouth when proclaiming the gospel. I also read in verse 3, this is a mission for a season that the Lord gave to Joseph Smith and Sidney Rigdon. So sometimes it's hard, but it's not forever, right? It's it's not going to be forever that we have to put up with a criticism because in verse 10, it says, if any man lift up his voice against you, he shall be confounded in my own due time. There will come a time when everyone will know that Jesus Christ is who he says he is. And those that are critical will be confounded. What builds my faith in the Lord? Well, I really like how it says that unto him that receiveth it, which is the wisdom and understanding of the gospel of Jesus Christ, shall be given more abundantly even power. So the more I open my mouth and the more I preach the gospel, the more I'm able to receive the spirit in my life. And I decided to apply these scriptures into my own life. There is some criticism of the church, and actually, depending on where you look, there could be a lot of criticism in the church. So for me personally, I feel like I need to start a YouTube channel where people can come and learn about the gospel and enjoy the spirit and build on the things that they know about the scriptures, but it's like a safe place. There's no criticism here. And that is what I will try to provide. That is how I will try to open my mouth. So a little bit of a different look today. You didn't get to see me do my amazing handwriting and uh, circle drawing, but I hope, <laughs> but I hope you, you can see that now it's your turn. I want you to open up your scriptures and go in and take some time to discover your own own inspiration. What is the Spirit trying to tell you? I know that the Lord will share with you what you need to learn as you take the time to study your scriptures each day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.